came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They're animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters. If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo? Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both. I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay, let's try and get you a train. And Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well, if he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. This doesn't seem like the right way. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But... Yeah, as far as it goes, get out, don't look back, make something decent in your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? There are worse. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to laugh. He, he's a lot of things, but... <laughs> there he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. You came! <laughs> you came! What <laughs> last you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. <sighs> Sir. How can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Oh. Hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey, no, you no. Just love Penelope. Get back. Oh, Excuse me, Alden. Get off me, son. Get off me, son. Get off me, Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, you. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You want to come back here? We should have done this last time. Get on the train, Bo. Go to your woman. Poor fish. Oh, now there's only one here.
creature. Almost. Almost. <sighs> All right, all done. That is quite a family you've got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well... How to life. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with you with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I need them. Come on, come over here. You must have all the jewels in the state, the amount of your cousin. Is this here? us. Hold tight, all right? I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Driver! Driver, we're in the clear. Time to start this train again. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister.
Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. But if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. Oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. I couldn't take it. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. It goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! I'll be tending to you shortly. May I help you? Oh, dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around, that's all. Anyway, how can I help you? Liberty is worth every penny. Good day to you.
old boy. Hey there. Evening. No business being here. Hey, it's a free country, ain't it? I'll put a hole in your head. My, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean well, that. I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, no. you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Well, please, go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, well, that's very kind. Charlotte, it was a pleasure meeting you. You too, Arthur. Please be well.
Sister. Uh, Calderon, Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorgans? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. You know what, sister? I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat mine. You are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but so very frightening, as you wish. Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Well, I must focus on the work at hand. There you are. Here I am. Come on. Let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Either they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are going to hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why... Despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. 
Well, don't we just look the part. We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of sand and he shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. Y'all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out, you know? Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Let's go, quiet. What's it look like? Bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, on one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing.
What's this down? A gun case. Impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges. This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your Don't sentence, you Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but the whole thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess, compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. 
I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that, and it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything, for everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again, and I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Okay, Arthur. Hey, Mary Beth. It's gonna be all right. I feel like a prisoner here. We won't be here for too long. We just need an escape plan. Okay, Arthur. You feeling all right? I could be better, but I'm fine.
died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. So, you live at Emerald Ranch then? Oh, we're getting close now. Yeah. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day.
Hamish. Arthur! <laughs> Come in. You said, uh, we could go for a hunt. I did. There's this huge she-wolf been stalking me the last few nights I've been out, but she can wait. <laughs> Let's talk a while. Sure. So what do you do? Me? Uh, I'm a wanderer. I was born further north, but I spent a lot of time out west. It's funny. I never saw myself as a wanderer, man. The bodies lay so thick, you could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. Those were bad times. Mm. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? Please. What have we here? Yeah, she's right across there. That close. Oh, 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 oh. she's acting brazen. Come on, let's mount up. Come on, she went around to the left, around the lake. Down here somewhere. Keep up, gotta get her while she's here. Wolves shouldn't come so close to people. Yeah, it's strange. When the whole country was wild, they could go where they liked. Now they're stuck hiding in the few corners of wilderness we got left. It's a feeling with which I can sympathize. This ain't a country for wild animals, nor wild men, Need You hear that? Yep. Quickly now, this way. Up there, on the outcrop, you see her? Let's go around it. Okay, I'm with you. We're on to her. Come on. Okay. Damn! I can't see her. Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. View loves hills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. What we got here? Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Is the blood set? Let me take a look. Yep, that was her dinner. Now, where'd she get to? My guess, she's gone somewhere over there. Well, there's a whole lot of over there. That's the problem. There she is. Got shy all of a sudden. You got some extra miles in you tonight? Well, if we gotta chase her, let's chase her. All right. Come on. Quick! Why we got eyes on her? Huh? Damn it! Too slow! Looks like she's headed into the woodland. We're gonna have to track her through the scrub. Better to be on foot. Send your horse somewhere safe. Get going, girl. There's a wolf about. You went in there, all right. We gotta track her. Now you wanna take the leap? Get her, shall I? If you don't mind, I'd like. I'll be close behind you. I got the trail. This way. Right behind you. Make it slow. You see anything yet? Just tracks. What's the worst that can happen? She runs off with the chicken. Oh, I'm fine with losing chickens. But I lost a leg off. Hey, a 
out there. Is that the she-wolf? From my complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she let us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? God damn! Over here! Over here! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Big son of a bitch. Is that all of them? That's the best of them. Look at them. Proud thing. Scary thing. <laughs> they brought us here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. Still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. I won't likely see another like him for some time. Yeah, I hope I won't <laughs> either. Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. So long, then. Yeah. Wait. Here's a pelt. Thank you. Uh, you earned it. So long. <laughs> he could speak the stories he'd tell. Just hold on, there, girl. What kind of wolf you gotta be to get this big? Almost a shame we killed it. I know, girl, just give me a second. Come on, girl. 